The refreshing Tom Collins begins with a lemon. This is a lie, but pretend it's yellow. Also, he hates lemons. They belong in fish, not cocktails. After severing the imposter's citrus in half, he juices three quarters of an ounce into the proper side of his measuring utensil. The blood of the citrus is then added to an invisibly walled vessel. Afterwards, he cleans and reaches for his Alilo simple syrup. Any simple syrup would do, but this is his preference, as it's simple to make and rather sweet. Then it's time for the gin. However, if he were to use London dry gin, it would be known as a John Collins, not a Tom Collins. So instead, he uses a botanical gin he enjoys. However, if you don't have gin, there are other liqueurs you can choose as your poison of choice. They're referred to by different names. Oh, Canada, our home and native land. I'm Colonel Sanders. However, he feels these variation names may soon be cancelled. He has enough gin for the cocktail and he is out. If you enjoy the channel, consider supporting it so we can buy more gin to make more videos. He adds a bunch of ice to the cup, no need for fancy ice just yet, covers with the methyl shaking tin and ensures a good seal because he believes he can fly. And he shakes. After about 20 seconds, he gently places it on the board and breaks the seal. Then fetches the glass with the namesake of this very cocktail and wonders. How did it get its name? Rumor has it that Big Apple bar patients wore a mischievous bunch. When an unbeknowing friend would arrive, they would inform them of an unscrupulous fellow. Evening, boys. I'll take a whiskey on the rocks. Tom Collins was talking trash about you. Tom? Yep. Tom Collins. He's at the bar down the street. I'd go have a chat with him. Hold that whiskey. I gotta go have a chat. Upon arriving at the other bar and demanding to see Tom, the bartender would hand them the Tom Collins, and his friends would laugh. Using a Boston strain and a sieve, Dennis then double strains the cocktail into the glass. This removes ice shards, lemon seeds, juice sacks, and any other foreign objects that might exist. So make sure to get every last drop of the elixir before cleaning, because ants. Then with the aid of a hefty knife like this cleaver, he uses the spine, not the blade, to massacre blocks of ice into small ice blocks. Why? Because he cares about presentation. And if the ice were added before the cocktail, the drink would dilute as it was poured over the ice. Therefore, it's added near the end. Afterwards, he cracks a can of salsa water, also known as sparkling or boublier water. Once the drink is topped, he adds the eco-friendly adult sippy cup straw. Then, using a lemon, again pretend it's yellow, he appears a long strip of the exocarp, commonly known as the rind. Using a knife, he scrapes off the white stuff, which Char Char calls the mesocarp. He slices it into uniformity and rubs the rim of the glass for olfactory consumption. Then nestles the rind into the ice. He adds two fancy cherries to the cocktail, not the nuclear red ones because he is fancy. If you want your favorite foods low carb and keto so you can stay on track and lead a healthy life, make sure to subscribe and check out these other videos. Until then, eat well and drink responsibly.